Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you pretty much how to uninstall the WPS Office. Now, WPS Office is a pretty good program that allows you to install and create files like documents, PowerPoints, um, Excel sheets, and also be able to edit PDF files on there too. But if you don't want these files to be done, because you probably got Office installed, Microsoft Office, 365 or depending on different versions that you paid for installed or if you don't like this one you want to choose a different one let's say like open office or libre office then you can choose that route but the rest you can just decide what you want to do and you just want to remove it so let's just go ahead and just jump into this video and show you how to get rid of this program so the first thing you do is pretty much go to start and you can go to settings and then from there you'll choose apps it might take a little bit for the programs to load up but once you get there scroll down all the way until you see WPS office from that point you'll see it has options which is modified but you can't select it so we're going to choose uninstall and it tells us that the app and its related info will be uninstalled so let's go ahead and select it and you'll probably press yes for this to be done but for the time being I'm going to press no because sometimes this program does not want to be shown here underneath the apps and features underneath settings. It happens to this on Windows 10 sometimes. I think it's still a little bug that happens to some people. So if you don't see it there, let's just go to the start or the search bar right here. And we're going to go ahead and type in um, control panel. I just typed in control. I totally misspelled that, but it found the same thing. Control panel. Select it. And then you'll choose programs and you can choose programs and features. And you look for the program that you're looking for. Here is the WPS office. And you can select it by double tapping or you can just choose the uninstall and change. And you'll come and get this exact same pop-up. And we'll press yes right here. It has options that if there's any issues, let's say if it had often freezes or crashes or not friendly for you or lack of some features, prefer 2016 or other reasons, you can pretty much select one and give details. But it doesn't really matter what you want to choose. I'm going to leave it as is. And just option if you want to save the configurations, if you want to reinstall this later. But pretty much, if you don't want it, choose other things, not friendly for us. You can select that, not friendly for us, choose your info you want to, and just submit and uninstall this program. Now, it tells you that you're going to miss some features like the 1 gig free cloud space and free format conversions from PDFs and stuff like that. I really don't care right now. So, leave it as is and just uninstall the program. And let it do its work. This isn't a little funny right there. It just has a little crying little monitor screen crying right there. Woohoo. Regardless, the program has been uninstalled and you should be good on your computer. Now, sometimes it may still be here on this list on the desktop or if it's still in the start menu. I would just say you give your computer a restart and you should be good. But that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys, if you just like this video then hit that button, but if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description, and for the rest I will see you on the next video.